Welcome to this tutorial about Grass Valley Channel Composer. In this tutorial I will go over the creation of bug templates and a bug format. And in order to add our bug templates I have to go over to the project uh, plane on the right and click the template button. And I can rename my template to HD bug in. Now in my bug in I can use a uh, channel or company logo for instance and these are normally added to the project assets which are available on the bottom over here. You can add new assets by clicking the plus button on top. In my case I've already added a Grass Valley logo to my project and adding this to my template is just as easy as by dragging it from the project assets onto the stage. At this moment I can start resizing and placing my bug on the right position and the right size. And if I'm satisfied with the size and position of my bug, I can start adding an animation. In this case I will add an animation for a fade Adding an animation to your object can be done with keyframes. Keyframes can be added in two ways. One of the ways is by clicking the insert keyframe button on the timeline, but this will add a keyframe to every single value of the object. And I can also add keyframes to separate values of my object. And in this case, I already want to create a fade in animation. In order to do this, I go over to the blending mode and I have my opacity available and I can fade from an opacity 0 to an opacity 100 in say one second. So I will set my opacity to 0 and I will add a new keyframe and I'll do this by clicking the triangle next to opacity and pressing insert property keyframe. This will allow me to have, still have the possibility to alter the shape and size and position of my bug uh, without interfering with the animation. To finish my animation, I'll set my player head to 1 second, set my opacity to 100, and insert a new property keyframe. And now when I press play on the timeline, I have a fading animation in 1 second. This is it for our HD bug in. Creating the bug out templates can be done in multiple ways, but the easiest way of doing this is by copying over this current template and reversing the animation. In order to do this, we'll go over to the button over here, which has duplicate template, and we'll create a copy of our HD bug in template, and by double clicking on the tab on top, I can rename this current template to bug out. Of course, our animation is still the same as our in, so we have to reverse this animation. In order to do this, I can click the select all timeline items button over here to select all my keyframes and then go over to tools and press reverse keyframes. Now my animation has been switched so I have a bug out animation as well. In order to see the total animation I could go over to triad mode and in triad mode I can preload and play multiple templates at the same time. So I can start my bug in template and see the result if I do my bug out template. One of the things I want to be sure of is that I still use the same object for my bug in and my bug out template. If I don't do this, I will have two instances of my logo and only one of the two will disappear and the bug in will still be visible on stage. Now the next step is to add a endpoint to our bug out to make sure that the player which plays out our still will be stopped and will be removed from the system. If we don't do this step, the system will still take a performance because the only thing we do is fading out our bug, but it is still active on playout. So in order to add an out point, we'll go over to our template timeline and right click on the object on the timeline and press the enable out point button and this will add an out point as well as a stop indication. This is it for our bug in and bug out templates. Now we'll have to add them to a format. In order to do this we'll go over to the project overview and press 
the format button and rename our format to BG from bug. Now I can double click my format and I can add my two templates to this format. So I can add my bug in template and my bug out template as well. And now I can set the timing offsets of my templates. Of course my bug in has to start from the beginning, at the beginning of my event. And my bug out has to go off screen as soon as we hit the end of our event. In order to do this, I will change my timing mode to from end to set an offset from the end of the event. So it will calculate back from the total duration of the event. And I can set my timing offset to one second in this case, since we've created a animation which is only one second long. This will cause the bug out template to be started at the end of our event, no matter how long our event is going to be. It will always calculate one second back and one second before the end, it will fire off our bug out template and the bug will fade out in one second. 